Okay, I want to talk a little bit about the coaching that I do. I've been receiving inquiries about my coaching through my website, people sending me emails, and I've been replying to them, but I'm realizing as I'm replying, they're all very similar questions, asking how my coaching works and what we actually do with my coaching. Um, my coaching is not like a, you have to sign up for three months and then, you know, once a week we talk and you have like, you know, I don't have like a, a program where you're doing this, you know, let's say body image this week and then the next week we're doing um, fear foods and the next week we're going to focus on journaling and the next week we're reframing thoughts. Like I, I treat each client individually. So my clients come to me at all different stages of recovery. And so I meet them where they're at and then we go from there. Um, and the way that you book appointments is basically as needed. So sometimes I'll have clients that start out needing, you know, a 30 minute session every day or every other day, just to get them started, just to like, feel like I'm almost sort of holding their hand getting started. And then obviously the objective is to like get them independent and having the ability to give themselves that permission as fast as possible. I don't want anyone to become dependent on me, but I also want to be as supportive as I possibly can. And I do become your greatest cheerleader when you get started and all the way through to the end. But I, I, I just feel like I wish I did have that at the beginning of my recovery, a little bit more guidance and a little bit more um, accountability and direction as far as like, I kind of wanted to have something, not a specific plan, but like some organization, something to like be focusing on. So that's how my coaching works is typically when someone books, I suggest like a 60 minute is the first one. And then following that is 30 minute sessions. Um, occasionally people will want that hour session as follow-ups and that's completely fine too. Um, the other thing that I offer is e an email service and that's where you send me an email every day at the end of your day and time zones are different so that I don't reply immediately once I get it, but within a 24 hour period, usually it's less than that. Um, you email me and I'll send you a template for it if you choose to do it, but you email me your wins for the day, your struggles for the day, and then your goals for the following day. So this forces people to really, really focus and really go into each day with intention and being proactive at beating their eating disorder. And then it forces them to reflect in the evening, oh, I'm so proud of myself for doing this and this, and it kind of makes you like throughout the day want to have wins against your eating disorder because then you get to you know report them. And then the struggles, you obviously kind of need to document so you can be like, okay, I'm aware this happened and this happened. I need to fix this tomorrow. These are now my goals. And then you're just consistently and frequently troubleshooting where you're falling short or where you're seem to be struggling with, you know, certain behavior or there's a food that you're still avoiding or being weird about. Um, so it just in between sessions, I feel like it really helps to keep clients accountable and focused and on track. And so, yeah, I do offer that service in addition to the coaching. Um, and I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I was, I've was i been asked several times that I just want to re respond to in a, in a session. I can't think of anything, but I can't, I cannot um, encourage people enough to get a coach. And this sounds like a totally shameless plug for me. I'm not even saying hire me. Like... I will say I think I'm a pretty decent coach. I'd like to say that I'm pretty confident in my abilities to coach and really get people in the right mindset. And usually at the end of a first session, they're very pumped up and like ready and excited to get started. And they do really well. Um, but if you don't feel like we click or you feel like you can resonate with another coach, then like absolutely hire them. But I do really feel like having a coach is just that extra support, that extra accountability, the extra focus, somebody that completely understands that's been in your shoes. If you have the means to do it at all, if you have the means to hire a coach at all and you're kind of on the edge, you're kind of like on the fence about should I, should I not? Or perhaps you're like, I can do this myself. I don't need a coach. I can do it. Really think about it. Really consider it because I do feel like it is a game changer oftentimes. Not for everyone. There are people out there obviously that recover on their own with no help. And that's absolutely awesome. It doesn't make them any better or worse or anything. It's great. Um, and it's also understandable that not everybody does have the means. But if you do have the means, and, and by that I mean where are your priorities? So if your priorities are buying all of your safe foods at Whole Foods and you don't have money for a coach, well then you need to reevaluate where you're spending your money, right? 
Um, and so I think when you put recovery first and when you sacrifice other things to make it a priority, you're committed. People that are paying me to coach them, they don't want to throw their money away. Like they're hiring me because they want to recover and they're doing the work. So anyways, that's kind of an overview of how my coaching works. Um, I love it. I really enjoy it. And if you resonate with the things I'm talking about or you feel like, um, I would be a good fit for you, then I am taking on new clients since my kids have been back to school. I'm taking on a little bit more hours each day. So yeah, if you're interested, I am accepting clients now and would love to work with you. Okay. Have a good day.